Today we are going to be trying on basically like all of the new jeans at Abercrombie because number one, I'm very curious. I've seen them all over my social media. So many people are posting so many cute Abercrombie jeans. And number two, I have really fallen in love with Abercrombie over the last like year or so. I feel like they've done a complete 180 when it comes to like their messaging and their branding. They've extended their sizing in their jeans and they make like really cute high quality product. It feels like they've sort of shifted their demographic as well to like something more along the lines of like 20s to 30s instead of like teenagers and high schoolers. So I've had some pretty good luck. And like I said, I've just seen so many cute pairs of jeans that I was like, all right, let's try them all on. Let me test them out for you. Give you my honest thoughts and opinions. Cause there's a lot of these that I haven't tried. As of right now, Abercrombie's jeans range from a size 24, which translates to a US triple zero all the way up to a 37, which is a US size 24. I ordered about like, I don't know, six, seven pairs of jeans in this gigantic box. So we're gonna try them on together. We'll go over price point, fit, all of the details. I will try to make this as comprehensive as possible. So let's go ahead and jump in and try on some jeans. One of my favorite things to do. Okay, here we go. Oh boy. Okay, I really, I really did a lot, didn't I? One, two, three. I have a lot. Okay, we got a lot to cover here. All right, we got a big old stack of jeans here. So uh, let's do it. No particular order. For reference, by the way, in case you were curious about like sizing and stuff, I did order a size 16 in every single pair of these jeans. I decided to do that just so that it was a 16 straight across the board. So you get sort of like an even idea of what the sizing might fit like. And actually in a lot of these, I also got a size long because I'm about 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, now that that's out of the way, the first pair that I got is called the 90s straight ultra high rise jean. I got these in a 16 long or a 33 long. These retail for $100. I believe I got these on sale. Yes, I did. I got these for $83.47 and they're like a nice high rise light wash. If you've watched my jeans videos for long enough, then you will know that I just love a 90s like model off duty light colored jean. It's just like what I gravitate towards and these look phenomenal. They do have a little bit of like holes in the knees and these sort of look like just like a standard straight up classic jean that maybe have like a little bit of distressing to them. They don't look like, you know, any kind of super wide leg or super baggy, just kind of like classic everyday jeans. So we're gonna try them on. So here is what they look like. I actually do like these and weirdly, I don't know if a long actually is the right size in these. I don't know if you can see, but they're extremely long. Like they're tucking underneath my foot. So maybe I didn't have the right idea when I was thinking about getting a long in all of these, but I think out of like the seven or six or eight pairs that I got, like all of them except maybe one or two are a size long. So whoops, we're just gonna roll with it. But I feel like with shoes on, it'd be fine. Things that I'm noticing right off the bat, these are more rigid, I would say. These do feel like a more rigid denim, but they are really cute. Like they're they're exactly what I said. A good classic go-to pair of jeans, nice light wash. I really like the knee rips on these. They do feel like they're a little bit lower. So does that mean that I should have gotten a size regular because they're too long? I would easily be able to like bend down and do things in these because of these rips in the knees, which is iconic, honestly, I love that. So I think I would be able to like sit down in these, but the only thing that's sort of giving me pause is just the sizing because I'm sort of in between sizes right now, to be honest. By the way, that's completely normal. Bodies fluctuate and change all the time. But I think because I'm like sort of a little bit too big for a 14, but a little bit too small for a 16, it's like a weird phase that I'm in right now. So I would worry that if I wore these for too long, they might be a little bit big. They might stretch out a little bit more, but yeah, love these. These are great, super cute, classic pair of jeans. Would love to wear these with like a white tee and some cute white sneakers you're good to go. I would say based on first impressions alone, I would give these like a nine out of 10. They're really great. A good like everyday pair of jeans is exactly what I am in need of at the moment. I feel like I have a lot of like super wide leg or flares or like cargos or whatever. And I need just sort of an everyday pair. So this might be it, we'll see. Next, we're gonna try something a little bit different. This is like sort of throwing it back to like 2021 era when I was really all about the baggier jeans and trying to find those kind of perfect Gen Z jeans jeans, if you will. And I saw this pair. These are called the loose high rise jeans. I got them in a 16 long and they're this really pretty, almost borderline acid wash. And I really like the feel of these similar to the first pair. They're like ever so slightly the tiniest bit of stretch, but they still look like a classic, you know, denim rigid jean. So that's kind of nice. I ordered these in a size 16 long, same as the others. And they retail for $90, but I got them on sale for $75. So we're going to see how I feel about these and just 
just how loose they are because they are supposed to be loose, but I don't really know exactly how they're gonna fit. So let's try it. Oh, this pair is fun. This is fun. First things first, right off the bat, these feel incredible. They don't even really feel like jeans. They're so loose around the calf. Like I love the way these feel, but there's always a butt. These are just a high rise, whereas the last pair was an ultra high rise. And I personally can notice a difference. I know I sound like a broken record, but I'm always preaching about how like things just need to be up to here for me to consider it like a good high rise. So while I absolutely love these and think they fit like so, so cute, my only critique and like the thing that I'm noticing right away is that I just wish they were like up to here maybe like an inch higher or so in the front. Cause it does sort of like go down like this in sort of like a V shape. And I prefer more of a straight across, but I like love the feel of these so much. I think the long was perfect by the way. Whereas the last pair, I felt like the long was a little bit too long for this pair. I feel like if I ordered a regular, they'd be too short. So just something to keep in mind. I don't know, it might be something we need to play around with. I feel like I have to keep these and maybe I just will wear them with tops that, you know, tuck in like this one or t-shirts and things like that because I love this, but I just wouldn't feel super comfortable wearing it with like a crop top because the second I move, my belly button will definitely show. I don't know if it's just because of like the looseness of them or whatever, but they genuinely feel like some of the comfiest jeans I've worn. And I think it's just because they're so big. Might have to look into getting these and other washes. I just, I wish that they offered it in an ultra high rise. That's like my only complaint. These are gonna get like a 9.5 out of 10 for me. The only thing that I would deduct points for is just the rise, but so cute, love it. Next to switch it up a little bit, we have a light colored pair of jeans, which like back in the day, I was trying to find the perfect pair of white jeans. I found like some runners up, but I don't know if I ever found like the actual perfect pair. And this pair of jeans is more of like a bone ivory kind of color, which would actually be really cute with the top that I'm wearing right now, so. I picked a good one, I guess. These are called the Ankle Straight Ultra High Rise and they retail for $90. I got them in a size 16 long. The wash is called Cream and I don't know, just something about these really intrigued me. I do have full butt underwear on today, uh, full disclosure, so we will see if we can see that or not. I will let you know. They do feel kind of stretchy and like, kind of comfortable, like very, very soft and really good quality. I don't know, we might have some good luck with these, so let's try them out. These jeans have surprised me a little bit in ways that I didn't anticipate, like in the other direction. I don't know if I love these on me. I just don't feel like these are the look that I'm going for. If you have like a very sort of classic chic style, these would be probably great for you. But to me, it's just like maybe not particularly my style is what I should say. First thing I noticed was that the rise is higher and actually that these feel probably the tightest of any pair that I've tried so far, but I think it's just the style of them. They're like probably the most fitted and they are called the ankle jeans. So I get that. They do hit me right at the ankle and this is a size long. So a regular would be like pretty, pretty cropped on me, but I do like them. It's just like not my favorite. I feel like if I were to wear this wash, this like cream wash, I would want them to be in the style of like the last pair that I tried on, the loose jean. I feel like that would just be more fitting for like my style and my body type and like how I like to wear jeans but I overall think it's a really cute pair of jeans. You can sort of see a little bit of like panty line action and like where my shirt ends and sort of where the pockets end and stuff like that because it is a cream pair of jeans. What can you expect? So I'm gonna give these like a seven out of 10. They're not personally what I would reach for and what I would go for when I'm looking for a perfect pair of jeans. So these will be going back, but they are cute. I'm noticing a lot of 90s jeans on Abercrombie's website right now. And I'm like absolutely all about that. I have re-entered my 90s era for sure. I love it so much. And this one is called the 90s relaxed jean and these are high rise, they retail for $89. I got them for $74.29 and they feel great. 33 long or 16 long. I wanted to get a couple different pairs of like loose, baggy, relaxed, 90s, straight, slim. Like I wanted to get a variety of it. This pair again is just a very like me pair of jeans. Very light, classic, still looks like a nice denim, has a little bit of distressing. This one actually doesn't have any kind of holes or rips or tears or anything like that. So maybe a bit more of a classic look. So we'll see, let's try it on. Okay, now this pair is surprising me because again, it's like I'm realizing as this goes on, on. The high rise looser jeans just aren't cutting it for me. I need the ultra and it makes sense These are still like the 90s style, but I just loved the first pair so much more like in the rise And I feel like if the if the first pair and this pair had a baby They'd be like the perfect pair of jeans 
Do you know what I mean? Do you ever feel that way? So I like the way these fit. I think they're really cute, cute on the butt, great length. I would honestly keep these in a size long. Wouldn't change a thing about them because when you wear like sneakers and stuff, I sort of like that look of there being a little bit extra fabric when it's more of a loose, like wide leg jean. So these to me are like the loose pair, the second pair that I tried on, those sort of medium wash jeans that I tried on second. These are like the light version of that. So if you don't want it to be quite as loose, you want a little bit more fit and a little bit more stretch, I would say these are are a great option for you. I'm just simply being a harsh critic because the high rise, I'm sorry. This to me feels like a mid rise. Like when I take my top out like this and it's not tucked, it literally to me is like a mid rise and that's just not what I particularly go for. Anyways, I am getting a little bit off topic. I do love the fit. I think it's a great fit other than the rise. I think it's so perfectly snug in all the right places, but like loose in all the other places. I do love this style a lot. I'm gonna probably go with like an 8 out of 10. I'm not gonna keep them but they are a really cute pair of jeans and like don't have much bad things to say about them other than this. Very adorable. Just probably not the ones that I'm looking for. You know, I feel like I have other ones that do better. Next for another 90s pair, like I mentioned, we're just going full force with the 90s. These are called the 90s Slim Straight Ultra High Rise Jean. These retail for $100. I got them for $62.61, so I got them on pretty good sale. And again, size 33. These were not available in a long, I don't believe. So I think I just got them in like the standard 33. And these are kind of unique because Abercrombie has been doing this a lot lately. A lot of other brands like A Goldie and a lot of the kind of trendier brands have been doing this this sort of like crisscross button where essentially like the fly, I don't know, it looks like the button is like buttoned over to the side. And I do have a pair of shorts from Abercrombie like this and I think they're cute and it's awesome that Abercrombie is doing this and offering it in plus sizes because you can't often find that kind of cute crisscross button situation on your jeans if you're not like a size two. So that's great. These feel a lot stretchier than I anticipated. We'll see when I put them on, but yeah. Black jeans do tend to run a little bit smaller so we'll see if that's true for this. Okay, now we're switching it up a little bit. These are interesting. They're, they don't fit in the way that I thought. I thought they'd be much more of like a just straight up, like straight leg. But it makes sense because it's called the slim straight. So it's not just a straight up straight jean. It's like a slim fitting straight. There's just so many different options to choose from, which I think is great. For everyone who has like different preferences, I think that's phenomenal. And these are much more of an ultra high rise, even though there is sort of like a cut in with the like crisscross and honestly if you can see like they're a lot more off-center than I thought they were gonna be to me it's like not even off-centered it's really just like off to the side these are like I mentioned not a size long so this is just what they look like on their own and I think these would be great they'd be super cute with a pair of boots or like sneakers but if you're looking for something in between like a just straight up like absolute straight leg jean and a skinny jean I think these would be a great option for you like if you've been wearing skinny jeans but maybe you're curious to like branch out a little then maybe these would be a great option for you to try they're very stretchy very comfortable I'm gonna give them like an eight and a half out of ten I would just prefer a different style or like a little bit of a different cut but I do think that they're a great pair of jeans and a great option for a lot of people. Okay we have two more pairs we're doing this we're getting through it this is like I feel what really rounds this video out it really completes it if you will and that is a pair of flare jeans I feel like I always fall in love with a pair of flare jeans that I try on in these videos whether it's like old navy good american I just find that I love flare jeans so much but I never actually wear them so We'll see how this goes. But this is called the Flare Ultra High Rise. I got these in a 33, 16 long. They retail for $90 and I got them for $75.13. They're in a medium wash. They do feel probably the stretchiest of any of these so far. Like these are like a stretch jean to me and this flare does look like it's flaring, but I don't want it to look too disco. Do you know what I mean? So we'll see how this turns out. A few things immediately come to mind when I tried these on was number one, that I am so predictable because I love a flare and I knew I would. And number two, that these are just entirely too long. Like you can't even see my feet, which honestly like, should be the vibe anyways because no feet for free on the internet you know but good news if you're really tall i think the long would absolutely be great for you i love you know apart from like from my ankles down i love them i think they're so so cute they're like a true flare so they're not just sort of like a boot cut with a little something extra they're like an actual pair of flare ass jeans you know i love the rise on these i love how stretchy they are they feel so comfortable i could like sit down in these i could sit crisscross in these i could like 
do a somersault. I could drop it low if I feel like it. I feel like very free and they feel very, very comfortable. So they definitely get a lot of points for that. I mean, they're just so stretchy and comfy, like no complaints there. If I didn't already have a really awesome pair of flare jeans from Good American, like I mentioned before, and if these weren't, you know, 28 feet too long for me, I would absolutely consider keeping these, but I do think they're gonna go back just because they're like, obviously, I mean, they're gonna go back regardless because of the length. But if we're taking that out of the equation, I think I just have a pair that's like this already, but they're so cute. Like if I didn't have a pair and the length was right, I would 100% keep these and I would recommend them. But I'm just trying not to take too many extra things into my closet these days that's like not, you know, super necessary. I'm really just only trying to bring things into my closet that like I absolutely love and can't live without. Not just ones that are like, they're okay, maybe I'll wear them because like I probably won't, you know, but really cute pair of jeans. Love them. And last but not least, we have a dad jean. I love a dad jean. I'm just, I'm so into the wide leg, like trousers thing right now, as well as jeans. My favorite jeans of all time are the Good American Good 90s jeans. And these look like they're kind of similar. Maybe not exactly, but these are in a size 33, 16 long. They reach up for $100. I got them for $83.47. They're in the lightest wash. And these were kind of unique because they have a little cut on the sides of them, right? It's sort of like right underneath your butt, like the back of your thigh. And I was like, that's kind of saucy and kind of cute. I like that. These do also feel really, really stretchy. And I'm curious to see how they're gonna fit. I don't know, I've never had a pair of jeans like this before. I guess I could easily DIY this with like any of my jeans that I have, but I don't know, this just really intrigued me. And again, it's just like a nice light wash, feels very me. So we're gonna hopefully end this on a good note and try on the last pair of jeans, which is the dad jeans, which are usually some of my favorites. So let's see. Okay, we're ending this on an interesting note. I'm not sure how I feel about these. These. There's like many thoughts that I'm having. First off, this is actually the only pair in all of these that I've tried on so far that's a button fly. The rest of them are all a zipper fly, so in case you were wondering. And I was really expecting differently out of these, but I guess these are kind of like a dad jean, right? Like they're not super, super wide leg, but they're also not like super slim either. They're kind of an in-between. They do fit a little bit too loose around the waist for me, but I think that's like how they're supposed to fit. Maybe more of like a kind of baggy oversized fit. Again, I'm gonna bring up the rise. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to. I would prefer them to be a higher rise, but they are still cute. I'm actually kind of surprised. I don't know. I put these on and I was like, meh, I think these are my least favorite of all of them. I would have thought these would be like one of my favorite pairs, but I do like this little cut and there is like a stitch around it. So hopefully it's not gonna like, you know, eventually spread so that like your whole ass is hanging out of the jeans. I like the size long. I think if I went with a size regular, they just wouldn't look right on me. I don't know. I just feel really meh about them, which is sad. Still a really cute pair of jeans. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm being extra critical because I mean, it's my job. I think we've found a few really cute pairs. I think it's like not exactly what I expected. I thought all of these were gonna be like knocking it out of the park for me, but I did try on some really cute jeans. You'll have to let me know your favorite pairs in the comments below. I think the ones that stick out for me are the loose jean, the first pair, which was the ultra high rise 90s straight jean, I think. And then also the flares. Those are the ones off the top of my head, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you'd see yourself buying any. Of course, there'll always be links down there if you're curious, but overall, I'm very pleased with how this turned out. I feel great about myself. I feel confident, a little bit puzzled about some of these, but overall really, really cute jeans. Well done, Abercrombie. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you all of my love and I will hopefully see you very soon in my next video.